And our first email comes from the Nerd Zone. And Nerd Zone, um, your email was a little more lengthy, so I had to kind of like reformat it a little bit, which I did for the entire show today. Uh, so your subject uh, header uh, we lost, but you're talking about Skyglass. So Skyglass. As uh, NerdZone points out here in his email, says, Skyglass is a streaming TV. So if you have Sky... Now, let me let me preface this by saying, if you are not already familiar with how uh, television works in the UK, Sky is a service uh, much akin to, like, uh, any of your, like, big networks, uh, uh, like ABC or NBC or you know, Fox or like any of that stuff, but Sky is kind of like the central hub for all of programming in the UK. Uh, you, yes, you have the BBC, but Sky is kind of like a separate company that makes uh, premium channels more available uh, to people in the UK. So that being said, Sky Glass is a streaming television. So if you have Sky already, you don't need the Sky Man, or rather the person that comes to your house to install the service. Uh, you don't need the Sky Man to mess about with your satellite. And it's all built in. It's 4K QLED uh, with HDR and amazing Dolby Atmos built-in speakers. Oh, those are my favorite. Uh, so that you don't need any big speakers in your setup. It's like... Brr, it's a full-on package. It's all right there. It's still the same purchase. Uh, sorry. Um, it's still the same purchase skywise for all of your subscriptions, but the prices for the TVs are. If you want a 43-inch, it's a uh, 650-pound or uh, 13 pounds a month if you want to lease it. A 55-inch television is 850 pounds or 17 pound a month. Or if you want to go for the big one, a 65-inch TV, it's 1,049 pounds. Or again, if you want to lease it, 21 pounds a month. They will come in black, white, blue, green, pink. Also, if you want to keep the environment safe, it's the first ever carbon neutral television. That means no plastic whatsoever. And I think that right there is a huge selling point. I mean, like there's a lot about this television. That's a huge selling point, but this in particular, I love that. I love that it's completely carbon neutral. That's wonderful. Um, I don't know if you people in the U S have this, but I'm excited. What about you? And that comes from the nerd zone. Yeah. So I like when you sent this, I was like, wait, this sounds like other types of televisions that we have in the US. And, you know, being I haven't lived in the UK for well over a decade. Um, wow. It's been much longer than that. It's we're we're rolling up on two decades now at this point. But so it's been a while. It's been a while since I've lived in the UK. I've visited quite regularly, very frequently, but my involvement in uh, UK television and specifically the boxes themselves has been a little spotty at best. I've been a little removed from it. So, um, with, uh, the sky glass being, um, introduced into the UK, when you, uh, first sent this email nerd zone, I started thinking like, this sounds very reminiscent of other types of televisions that we have here in the U S where you have, um, it, it just, uh, let, let's talk Sony for a second, or, uh, you know, Panasonic or whatever, any of those manufacturers of televisions. Some of the selling points from some of these TVs is that you have Netflix installed, you have Hulu installed, you have Disney plus installed. Like you can buy the television with an app built into the TV that you just on your remote control, click the button and then Disney plus comes up or Netflix comes up or Hulu or like whatever, whatever service you want to, whatever streaming service you want to watch. And then if you want to go to your actual channels, then you can do that. The thing with these televisions is that you are still reliant on having, um, like a satellite or some kind of a subscription service, it's not built into the TV. You have apps that are, you know, uh, built into the TV, which comes kind of like the, the big selling point for the TV. But to my knowledge, we don't actually have a full on television, full subscription that is completely um, wireless based. You don't need a satellite. You don't need a separate, um, cable box that plugs into your TV. It's its own thing. The closest thing that I can think of 
that we have to something like this in the United States would be just, you know, just get yourself the best television that you want to spend money on and then get like an Apple TV and plug it into your TV or get a Roku and plug it into your TV or like one of those devices that you plug into your TV. So you download all of your apps onto the Apple TV or the Roku or whatever. Um, or if you even wanted to put in, um, uh, uh, there's a service called, um, now I'm blanking, Sling. If you wanted to pay for the subscription of Sling, you can have live channels and they're all streaming via uh, the internet. Um, you know, you just pay for your subscription and then, you know, connect your TV or, or rather your Apple TV or your Roku to your uh, um, to your wireless router that you have, like your internet that you have in your home. And then brrr, there you go. You have access to all of these channels. But from what Sky Glass is, I don't know if we actually have anything quite like this. It's almost like it's a Roku or an Apple TV device that's Sky branded. It needs nothing else. You get the TV, poof, ready to go. You uh, wirelessly uh, connect it to your broadband internet connection. Um, to your high speed internet connection, whether wireless or whatever. Um, uh, so, sorry, I'm just looking at uh, a comment. The nerd zone just said sky does Wi-Fi routers as well. Yeah. So, so there you go. It's, if you buy a sky wireless router, you it might have a better connectivity because it's all within the same family. I mean, not necessarily, but it might, I don't know. Some, some products work like that. Like all Apple products work mwah, seamlessly together. Whereas sometimes if you go like Roku and then Sony and you know, sometimes there's a little connectivity issues, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would assume Sky is probably trying to do the same thing that Apple is doing and just keep everything seamless. So this sounds like an amazing opportunity. And I hate the way that this article has has phrased this, uh, you know, admittedly, this particular article, while I, I got it from Yahoo News, uh, this is an article from, uh, uh, from Cosmo. And uh, I'm trying to hide that fact a little bit because, oh, Cosmo, what are you going to do? But they say it's an influencer approved new TV. That doesn't mean anything. It's an influencer. That means that there's some influencer some, somewhere, some way, somehow, who's decided, I like this. I'm going to approve this TV. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that there's some somebody on Instagram who has a lot of followers has said, I like this TV. I'm going to approve this TV. And now and now it's newsworthy. It's like me if I'm saying, hey, I like this TV. I, I like this glass. This mug is wonderful. I approve this glass. And now somebody says, hey, Mike Brown approved the glass. Woo! So, so... This title, this headline doesn't mean anything, but the rest of the article uh, basically says the same thing that you brought up, Nerd Zone. Uh, there's all the prices, all the different colors, and it basically tells us like what is Sky Glass, which is essentially what we've already talked about. It's a streaming television that doesn't need a satellite. It doesn't need a, 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 a cable box. It's got it all included inside of the TV. Um and you know all the all the rest of the uh, uh, pertinent info there, but I think this is a really great idea. I think this is something that's been a long time coming. Uh, but I want to hear from you guys. Like, what are your thoughts about Sky Glass? Um, is there? Am I missing out? Is there a version of this in the United States that I'm just totally unaware of? Let me know down in the comment section below, as well as. What do you think the benefits of having Sky Glass are going to be? Yeah, you still need the subscription to Sky. But I mean, if you're paying for that anyway, might as well just get the TV that does it all for you. Or are there limitations that we're not talking about, that we're not taking into consideration right now? Are there things about having Sky Glass that limit you from doing other stuff? So like, case in point. Let's just say you want to watch Disney Plus. Do, does it have the option? Is there like an app store or like a Google Play store or like whatever the version of that would be with Sky? Is there a store where you can download apps like Disney Plus? If you want to watch uh, 
Uh, if you want to watch the new Loki series, the new Loki series, if you want to watch Loki on Disney Plus, does this give you the uh, uh, option to download Disney Plus? Or if you want to watch uh, blah, blah, blah over here. But, and I understand Disney Plus isn't available in the UK yet. Is it? No, sorry. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of HBO Max. Sorry. Strike strike that last comment from the record. But anyway, guys, I want to hear your thoughts about what you think of Skyglass. I think it's a great idea. Jump on down to the comment section below. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what the Golden Idol from Raiders of the Lost Ark would want you to do.